it's Caitlin, and as you can see, I have a very beautiful thing that the glare is off of it to share with you today. I might have to back up a little bit so you guys can see it a little bit better. But yes, I got the Harley Ivy Deluxe statue. I usually don't get two characters in one statue, or double statues as I like to call them. Um, but this one was just too beautiful. <laughs> and I, I have already seen this out of box. Um, because, uh, well, I'll tell that story in a second. But before I get to the statue, so, I got a very awesome package in the mail today from Sticker Mule. So, last week, uh, I messaged Corey, and I was like, I want a new banner for my YouTube channel and a new sticker that has, uh, it's a community, not a competition on it. Uh, and I asked him to design it for for me and he went above and beyond so you guys have already seen this as the banner on my channel or you probably have if you went to directly to the my channel page so yes this is the new banner for the channel and i am had it made into bumper stickers just because you know Corey uh, designed the banner and then he gave me this one separate it's slightly different if you look at like the ba background and obviously the size of it Oh my gosh, I already have one. I have it on my window, <laughs> not my car, not my bumper, but I have it on the rear windshield of my car, and I absolutely love it. Now, the weird thing though, so I order these from Sticker Mule, who prints very good quality uh, vinyl stickers, because uh, I ordered from them before, for the custom sticker that Corey also des <laughs> designed for me a few months back. Um, and for bumper stickers, the lowest quantity you can order is 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and the 14th one is on my car. So I got 14 somehow instead of just 10. So I guess I got four free. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, so the ones I'm about to show you, those will be given out either for like, you know, what... I'm gonna have to send some off to to some friends for what, why not? <laughs> what the hell? Why not? Um, but anytime you guys receive like a pop or a custom or yeah anything thing from me, if you win a giveaway, you're gonna have some of these stickers, either one or probably even one one of each. Uh, and again, I'll show you those in a second. But uh, these ones, I already have. I only have one car, so I might take the spare three ones. And so the other 10, if you guys want them, I'm going to say five bucks because this was actually kind of expensive to print. The others I don't mind give, giving away, but these ones, um, especially since I got so many extras, I don't mind, you know, selling them. So yeah, five bucks each if for some reason, I doubt there's going to be anyone that wants to advertise my channel on their ca car. I know sure as hell my mom didn't because she is adamant that I do not put one of these on her car. So <laughs> she hates stuff on her car. But yeah, so if you guys guys want one of these that looks like my banner, uh, message me at uh, Fungal Pops and Unicorns uh, with underscores in between each word on Instagram. If you can't got confused from the way I talk, it'll be a link in the description box below. Just, just say you want one and I'll send you my PayPal and then uh, send me your shipping information. The other one I said I just want one sticker. I told Corey, just get the banner and one sticker, that's it. He gave me two separate stickers. So the first one is a round sticker, which is so freaking cute. So in the middle it says Funko Pops and Unicorns, and then it's a community, not a competition on the top and bottom. But this one's my favorite. <laughs> so it's got the big unicorn logo. The other one had the other the logo too, but this one's bigger. <laughs> I absolutely love this one so much. I kept them in the plastic just for the video as soon as I get uh, get some little plastic baggies which is in my art room. Uh, I'll have some on my, a couple on my desk and a couple on my computer but yes I do plan on keeping ordering these and keeping them in stock uh, here for when I have any packages to send out. So uh, I will leave a link to Corey's channel in the description box below if you guys haven't already. He is so freaking aw awesome and uh, he, he was so excited to do these for me and I was so happy because I was afraid I was going to be bugging him after asking this because <laughs> I already asked him to create the custom sticker that I put on my custom pops. Um, so yeah, I'm very thankful that he did it and I'm so, so happy. 
Also, Sticker Mule, which is the company, again, that I ordered this from, uh, they usually send, uh, you know, like their logo stickers, stickers of their logo in each one. Um, well, this time, they sent those too, but they sent this one as well, which I thought was very, very sweet uh, for Kobe Bryant. Uh, I actually got two of these. They sent the bumper sticker separate for some reason, I guess, because it needed a different envelope or whatever. Um, but yeah, so I already put one of these on my computer, and this other one's going. I kind of wish the legend came with the sticker, um, but it's just the 24, which is good enough. Uh, so yeah, that one is going on the desk as well. So anyway, now that that's over, let's talk about this baby. So, so yeah, I have already gotten this. Um, so this arrived a couple days ago. Uh, at the comic shop and apparently there have been people in and out that asked him like can I just see it <laughs> so he's actually he actually took this out twice yesterday um, and he wanted me to take it out again just to make sure everything was good by me about the quality of it and if nothing was broken and I'm doing it up and down but uh, this thing is snug I know he was having some trouble putting it back in. I may have to edit this out. <laughs> so I got it in real quick if you guys want, want to know. There are some new uh, different Batman statues as well as another Harley Quinn one advertised on the box. Now, so I always say whatever you do, do not order, unless you absolutely have to, do not order directly from the company. Um, because you're going to end up paying a hell of a lot more. Retail on this statue is around 280 okay? If you buy it off Entertainment Earth, which if you don't have a comic shop in your area where it's, you know, a good, uh, reasonable distance to drive to, I would always recommend there. On Entertainment Earth, it's 225 which is already a drastic difference, right? And everything over, I think it's $100 on Entertainment Earth, it's free shipping. So it's free shipping just for this one statue. And, but at my comic shop, I paid two twenty, and that's it. So that was the best deal. Now some comic shops probably won't have that good of a deal, but I would definitely ask your local comic shop if you have one, because um, every time I've ordered from them, almost every time, you get it earlier slightly. Because I know Entertainment Earth that's not sent to ship out till next month, I think, um, and you get it a little bit cheaper. So that's been my exper experience with it, and. So let's go ahead and give you guys a look. Oh my gosh, okay. I love this thing. Now the reason he was a little bit uh, concerned, not many statues have the head separate. I mean, this isn't the first time I've seen it, and it probably wasn't his either, but most of the time, especially DC, if they have a statue that has to come apart for some reason, uh, you know, if we're in the box or, or whatever, um, most of the time they go ahead and, like, detach it at the arm or, you know, their accessories or something. Very rarely is it ever the head. Uh, and I don't think I've ever seen where they put the head on with a peg before, but whatever. So Harley is all one piece, and so is the base. But Harley's head is separate for some reason. Look how long her hair is. Have you guys ever seen Harley's hair quite this long <laughs> before? This is awesome. This is so freaking pretty. So I am going to take the opportunity to go ahead and show you guys a close-up of Harley's face. So you can see the collar she's we wearing. It matches her... Uh, that, that there's a It's ponytail holder, but isn't there like another word for it? I am so girly, but <laughs> not, but yeah, that is very, very beautifully sculpted. This is gorgeous. The teeth are sculpted, the lips are glossy, I mean, this thing, it's, I mean, it's just the head so far and already I'm impressed. So, so again, he had me take this out just to look it over. I did see one small flaw with it. I didn't put it, point it out because it's nothing on him. It's not the way they he uh, handled it or any, anything like that. Uh, but I will point that out in just a second. 
Oh, it'll look so much better once her head's on. <laughs> All right, let's take that off. Oh, by the way, this is number 592 out of 5,000. So, it'll have that number on the base, too. But, uh, okay, so let's see how easy it is to get this. If th Since there's only one peg, I would hope it'd be very, very easy. And it is, thank you. So, although, here's the thing. It, I do prefer when it's a peg in there, when it's something as crucial as, like, a body part. Um, but the only downside, it's a little loose when it's just a peg, most of the time. Not always, but a lot of the time. So I would have preferred a peg plus a magnet, uh, especially if they're, again, it's retailed for 280 I think they could have afforded a little magnet to put in there. Um, but what, whatever. Oh my gosh, this thing is gorgeous. So first off, there's multiple different textures going on here. So the flower, he said to him it feels like plastic. Um, I don't know if it's plastic. Maybe. I feel like it's just the stem that Ivy is holding. Or no, Harley's holding it. Okay, <laughs> that's even better. So <laughs> the, sta the rose that Harley's holding, I feel like the stem is just a wire. And it's connected, you know, obviously to the petals. So it's not quite as stable as the rest of it. I do believe it may be made of pl plastic. It could be the re the same material as most of the rest of the statue is made out of. I honestly don't, don't know. But either way, it is a little bit fragile. So why did I say fragile like that? I never say it like that. I must have been watching other YouTube videos <laughs> where people say it. But anyway, I would be weary about this if you guys get it. Another thing, there's a multiple, there's, I said it before, I don't know. Uh, I need to start filming more regularly. I haven't been filmed. I know I have, my video schedule has been the same, but I have not filmed regularly since like the, be regularly, <laughs> since the beginning of the year. But anyway, so Harley, her fishnets are actual fabric, and I love how there's just like small little rips in there it's perfect and you can see there across her ass her shorts yeah they're shorts i was seeing if it was a skirt are glitter that is so cute she has a diamond ass but but i love the way they did it because they have used glitter on their statues in the past dc has um the one I know for sure was Vixen, the Vixen bombshell, because she wears a very pretty uh, sparkling, supposed to be like sequin, uh, gown in the bombshell comics. So they replicated that by using large, chunkier glitter and putting it on. I like how they did it here. This is more fine glitter. This is the kind of stuff that I would use on a pop glitter custom. Uh, and it just makes it look better. Honestly, it doesn't look quite as tacky. Um, and... I have some glitter coming off of my hands, but not very much. Just don't slap her ass and you'll be fine. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and get to the main event, which is these two. Mm, I love it. So we finally get a Harley Ivy couple statue. I know you guys can't see me that well, but I'm not the star of the show anyway. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Look, just the looks on their faces and the body molding. I mean, holy crap. You can see, like, a body st type difference between Harley and Ivy. They didn't just make them, you know, like a standard pretty girl, which I always appreciate. Ivy's hair, like, <laughs> uh, Harley's is super long, and I love it. Oh, my gosh. There's a really good mix of both matte and gloss uh, finish on both of them. Oh, my gosh. The color on their eyes is gorgeous. If I remember, I know I forget sometimes, but if I remember this time, I'll take a close-up look of their faces, a pic of their faces, and put it in here, because holy crap, it's gorgeous. Now, the paint flaw, I'm seeing not too much to complain about, honestly. Her nails, Harley's nails aren't quite evenly painted on this hand. I'm trying not to pick it up too much. 
Um, and so are some of the vines on high, highly, <laughs> on Ivy's tights. So there's one like right here. You can't even really see it because it's, yeah, you know, I, I imagine it was molded or at least at the very uh, first painted into the more minty kind of green color. Um, but it was meant to be the darker green. So that one isn't painted very, very well and uh, there are some splotches on the vine over here as well. But it's still very, very beautiful. Now the one thing that I noticed when I was at the comic shop, Ivy right on her forehead, again maybe you'll see it in the close up shot, this just a little smudge, just a little smudge. Uh, I'm gonna try and get some alcohol and do it, not acetone. <laughs> if you guys have a high price statue and there's a paint flaw on it, try to get it off with rubbing alcohol. Because acetone, you could ruin the whole damn thing. Which would be very, very upsetting. So I'm gonna try to just get a Q-tip with a little bit of rubbing alcohol to get that off. If not, I can live with it. Um, but man, all the sculpting that's on here. If you look, if I can get it up. Again, uh, the stars on Harley's boots are two different colors. It's so gorgeous. And I always forget the brand, but I know, I would know it if I looked up a, a Hextian video. He's a doll customizer. And he always puts these red bottom soles on his custom high heels. I know that's a trademark of some actual company. I don't know what. I doubt that company ever made boots like this. <laughs> but I know there's some kind of high heel brand that has red bottoms on and it's so expensive. I've never worn a pair of high heels in my entire damn life. <laughs> I don't plan on it. But anyway, look at the base here, guys. So it's all Ivy's vine coming out. And the checkerboard pattern on the floor is just beat all to shit because of this. Oh my gosh, like that is so cool. I kind of wish that there was more cracks in the tiles. Just a little bit. But this is a gorgeous statue. I love all the different materials they used. <clears throat> oh, man. Now, a part of me, as much as I did like the... I keep going back to Harley's ass, I'm sorry. As much as I do like the work on the glitter, part of me kind of wishes that it was, like, metallic. Almost. Uh, just... Some, some people would say that glitter cheapens it. I personally don't care too much. Would it still look nicer to me if it was metallic? Yes. But honestly, they did a really good job with the glitter that they used. It's not spread. There's none on the gold parts, the gold star, her belt. There, There's no, like, glitter leakage. <laughs> no, contam that's it, contamination anywhere. And that is impressive. And I didn't know this at Christmas when Homespun Queen Cherie sent me or uh, made me the uh, Pikachu Harley that I showed off. She does that with a toothpick. I mentioned that she has to use tape when she has her brush. She uses a toothpick to apply her glitter. That woman's amazing. There is no way in hell I would ever <laughs> glitter a pop with a damn toothpick. That would take too damn long. It would would it look a hell of a lot nicer? Absolutely. Do I have patience for that? Fuck no. But but I absolutely love this. Again, I don't like how every time I have to move it, which when I get it on our shelf, I won't be moving it. But I don't like how loose Harley's head is. Other than that, I think this is gorgeous. Oh, this ship has been around for a long time, and I've been sailing it pretty much since the beginning. And I just love that we're finally getting like a true Harley Ivy statue because this is gorgeous. The veins on the leaves of Hi Ivy's plant that she's sitting on is so freaking gorgeous. So the only thing, if anyone gets this, they need to be aware of. Again, this thing is movable. I'm, the, the base has to be a wire and the rest of it could be plastic. I don't know. Uh, you could accidentally rip more of the 
uh, fishnet either on Harley's stockings or her uh, arms if you're not care careful. But, oh, this is gorgeous. Again, I'm going to have to clean up that one scuff. But I am so happy with this, guys. You have no idea. Would I spend nearly, you know, over $200 on statues on a regular basis? No. I usually, it's been years since I've even uh, spent more than 100 on a statue. I'm going to break that twice this year. <laughs> this one and then one more. I'm dreading that one. But... <laughs> But I absolutely love this. If you guys have been wanting to get a high-end statue and you're a DC fan, this is definitely one that to consider. Again, check your local comic book shops. A lot of times you can just me message them on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, and just ask them, can you get this for me? And if so, how much would it be? Um, and if it's more than, you know, 225 go to <laughs> go to Entertainment Earth. Because sometimes Entertainment Earth... They push back the dates a lot uh, when you order from them, I found. Um, but still, their prices are way better than most others. But definitely shop around and look, look in your local area, as well as some online shops, just to see which is best uh, for you where you live. But, oh, uh, this is gorgeous. I absolutely love this st statue. I can't say that enough. Enough. Just a magnet. That, if it wasn't for that, for that and how flimsy the rose is, honestly, even with some of the paint job that's a little bit messy, which I really don't care about because the texture is still, still there, personally, I would probably give this a 10 out of 10, but with that stuff, probably a 9, if not an 8 maybe, but still, I do not regret doing this at all. And there were so many people there. Every time he had to get this out, like he showed the box to se several people, so many people were interested in it. So I know there's a lot of people that want the statue. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys can get your hands on it if you want them. But uh, so the next statue I believe that I have coming to me is Huntress Bombshell. I think I only have two statues up on pre-order that may change. <laughs> It depends on how the con. I go. I go to a con early March. If I don't spend too much there, which I don't think I will, then I may. There's another statue that I want to get my hands on if I can. But <clears throat> anyway, guys. So the statue videos are not done by far. It might be a little bit longer. I know you got a bunch of them last last month. Um, but those were Christmas gifts. <laughs> but there will be more statues to come on this channel, and I hope you guys enjoy them. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, like always, it's a community, not a competition. I'll see y'all later. Bye.